because of his policy, he will you choose. But the head is mine. As long as power flows through any of my circuits, I'll fight you. Cybertron Weekly is your central hub for everything Transformers. Ultramaximus back with another Transformers review. Today we're taking a look at a third party figure and it's from Fans Project. It's the Function X9 Positum figure. So this is the TFCon Charlotte 2015 exclusive from Fans Project, which is really, really cool. Uh, this is obviously the Optimus Prime repaint of their X9 Crocs figure. Uh, which was pretty cool. It was pretty interesting, but I already had the Toy World uh, version of the Skull Cruncher, so it didn't really impress me that much, but I saw this, and I'm like, oh, I've got to have this. So a huge shout-out to Pake for Life. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, fellow YouTuber, if you have not seen any of his videos, um, I will put a link in the description below, as well as a link to his uh, preview look of this figure and a few other things at TFCon, which is really nice. Again, thank you, sir. He was very kind. He picked this up for me while he was out there, and very, very cool stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. All right, so here we have the box for uh, Positum, and it's pretty much the same kind of box that we get with all the other Function X series, which is Fans Projects Headmasters. Now, if you don't know what this is, uh, again, this is the Crocs repaint in Optimus Prime. Why Optimus? Well, there was an episode called City of Steel in the G1 cartoon where the Constructicons basically dismember Prime and Megatron takes the head and uh, they turn his body into an Alligatacon, uh, which, you know, yeah, it was the 80s. It was fun. It was, it was a fun episode. So they decided for the convention exclusive that they were going to do an homage to that, uh, which is kind of funny because when we go to look at the figure, I really think they had this in mind uh, before they did the Crocs and they just kind of redid the Crocs because, um, yeah, it kind of, kind of humorous. Now, um, like the other uh, FX uh, boxes, this is a clear plastic that goes over a, a straight color box, uh, which gives us a really cool effect. It says Function X9, Positum. It's got the Positum logo, which is kind of a little trucko gator, uh, which is kind of funny. We get some really nice artwork on the side here uh, in the robot uh, head here, as well as the alligator head. And then the back, um, we got Sad Baby warning, some more uh, artwork here. This side it says fun Function X9 Positum, which is just Optimus all mixed up. But yeah, definitely pretty cool. Uh, just kind of a close up of that little Trucko Gator. Uh, looking pretty cool. And there's the artwork. That just looks super sick, very nice. And then there's the croc or alligator, uh, which is very, very cool. Definitely fun stuff. So let's go ahead and get this open and see what we think. So here we have Positum out of the package and I like it. Uh, it looks very Optimus Prime-like, which is very, very cool. Funny thing is, I mean, this is Code's head painted blue, but I mean, it works. I like all the detail on the back. That looks really nice all the detail around. Now you may hear my parrots in the background, they're kind of going nuts today. But uh, yeah, pretty decent. He comes with uh, the alligator tail, uh, which can turn into a weapon, uh, turn into a sword. And it's got the, the tip of the blade is the orange Energon uh, blade, kind of like the episode with the orange Energon axe, which is kind of cool to get it to go into his hand, uh, which is kind of a pain really. There we go. So he's got his sword. Uh, very cool. Very neat. Articulation is pretty decent on this figure. Um, I'm going to pull the weapon out so we can play with it a little bit more. Um, so articulation, pretty decent. His arms go up about that far. 
they spin around this way, um, elbow joint, um, no real articulation in the hand, which is unfortunate. Um, legs are on a joint. He can kind of ab crunch a little bit. Uh, he's got a knee joint. Nothing per se in the feet um, and his head uh, can swivel, which is nice. It moves that way. Um, and it can look down, which is very different. I don't recall Code being able to do that. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the details. So taking a close look at the figure, I mean, they did a really good job. I like the detail in the face. I mean, it is Code's face, but the different paint job really kind of gives it a nice Optimus look. I like the blue windshield. All the detail on the shoulders here with the silver bits look really, really nice. And of course, uh, we've got the uh, silver bits on the back as well. Uh, very, very cool. Definitely digging that. Um, I mean, they just did a really good job with the sculpt and uh, all, all the paint apps. I really do think that they intended this figure to come out instead of the Crocs figure as the initial run because, I mean, it's totally Optimus Prime. So here we have a mid-shot section in the backpack on this guy. I love that detail. That just looks so amazing. And just to put that on the back, I mean, that is really, really cool. And uh, the yellow paint picks on the arms. Love the truck-like front of the face uh, of there. I mean, that just looks really, really nice. The silver and the grill, all that kind of good stuff. Detail on the elbows, the little silver uh, blade-like thing on his elbow there. That's super cool. I mean, they just did a great job detailing this figure out. And finally, taking a look at the legs, again, really nice job. I like the yellow paint picks on the white on the upper parts. The red on the knees look really good. All the silver uh, looks very, very nice on the feet and on the side there uh, with the little scales, little blue scales popping out. Definitely pretty cool. Um, a little open on the back, but not too terribly bad. Again, um, I think it just... Uh, um, Looks like it could have been a little more closed up uh, on design, but I'm not the one that designed it, am I? All right, so let's take a look at some of the other uh, functionalities to the figure. Obviously, he does have a headmaster. We'll take a look at that. Uh, but uh, one thing I want to show you, if you take the weapon piece and lift this up, I'll push that down a little. There's a little bit right there that is so that you can store it on his back. If you look, there's a little piece there. And then you can just slide this here and you can store his weapon on the back if you don't want him to hold it, uh, which is kind of interesting. Now, the other cool thing is he has missile launchers. If you lift up his shoulder bits right here, uh, there are little missiles in there. Now, unfortunately, they are red, uh, so you can't really see them all that well. But yeah, that's pretty cool that they did that. Now, this looks a lot better with their uh, Crocs figure because it's... Uh, red missiles painted onto, I think, purple or green. I can't remember off the top of my head, uh, but it sticks out a little bit better than this guy does. Um, and then, of course, we've got the headmaster. So we're going to pull that off really quick. So here is the head. Again, it's just Code's head painted blue, but it does look very Optimus-like. I really like it. And then to transform him, you just simply pull his legs down and pull it out. And there we have the little headmaster. Um, I'm going to call him Roller. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's just a little blue and white and silver. I mean, he's got some good uh, paint apps on there. Pretty decent. Definitely pretty cool. I am liking him. For comparison, here we have Positive next to Code. And as you can tell, their heads are exactly the same, just totally different body sculpts. Now, I was uh, mistaken. Code does have, all the Headmasters have the ability to look down. I just, it's been a while since I've actually messed with this figure. But yeah, um, pretty decent. He's a little bit taller, I think, than Code. He's definitely better built than Code. This being like one of their first one, and the first one in the run. Um, I think a lot of upgrades happened in the engineering process. And here we have him next to Quadruple U. Uh, again, uh, pretty decent. Uh, he's about the same size as Quadruple U um, goes. I think there's a little bit more bulk down at the bottom uh, than the other figure. But uh, yeah, overall, not too bad. Now, I will say uh, on this figure, and I didn't talk about it when I was going through articulation. If you look on the back, I've got the feet splayed out to give him more uh, of a foot 
really it the instructions tell you to fold these feet all the way in but when you do he just loses balance so as you can tell uh, it's better, I think, to kind of leave them out. It not only kind of fills out the gap a little bit, but makes them a much more stable figure. And here we have Positum in his crocodile mode or alligator mode. I'm going to call it an alligator mode because I kept calling him an alligator con in the episode. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's a pretty faithful representation of what we got in the cartoon he's got a white head which is actually silver in the cartoon so i'm not really sure why they went with the white but yeah it is what it is um we've got uh, the red the yellow bits on the side we did see that in the cartoon um he had the blue feet with the red arms in the cartoon but there was uh silver on his back uh he didn't have this kind of truck looking uh piece up here in the cartoon but that uh, you know it's translating to a toy which is really weird but he does have the pipes uh that he did have in the uh cartoon which is pretty cool uh but overall yeah i mean they did a pretty decent job now his eyes are a different color they're a lime green here and in the cartoon he had blue eyes and then in some scenes he actually had red pupils and this thing was nasty mean in the cartoon it did not like the autobots uh for sure um, another cool thing is it's got the snaggle teeth that um, he had in the cartoon, which is very, very cool. He kind of, I mean, it's got a pretty decent little gator type of crawl there. I, I am digging that uh, for sure. Articulation, uh, his mouth does open, uh, which is cool. It opens about that far. And uh, one of the neat things, we'll kind of zoom in here, is uh, he's got this little like grinder piece with some pretty sharp bits in there which is pretty darn awesome i really dig that love the little snaggle teeth uh he can look down but that's mainly for transformation he can sniff things on the ground which is kind of fun his uh legs do come out uh his little paws are on um ball joints He's got uh, some movement back here, uh, and then the feet are also on joints, but again, that's mainly for transformation. Um, the back of the uh, alligator's tail does have one point of articulation, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, overall, I like it. I think they did a good job, just kind of a close-up of all the detail. Um, again, they sculpted it very well. I like all the gears. It's got the tanks um from the truck mode which is awesome very cool i like the black it's even got black parts on the paws i really like that we get this nice kind of silver paint down here i don't know why the whole thing wasn't silver got some yellow paint picks the black paint picks on the head look cool definitely cool the silver the blue's very nice got the little spikes it looks like he's got um scales which is very cool all the molded detail on the tail now the tail um you know of course being addition to the weapon to the sword you can pull this out all right with the magic of pausing the camera we've got it out again this is very very stiff uh but if you want to extend out the tail you can definitely do so um which is pretty nice you might want to uh, get it out there so we get a little longer look and it actually i think it kind of completes the look out uh which i do like i think that is pretty cool now of course much like the toy world version uh the cockpit is up here on the back not in the mouth unlike the original g1 figure but i do like that i don't i never did like it going into the mouth it just looked really silly to me so we're gonna take little roller here and then we're just gonna put him in a sitting position and then what you're going to do is you want to open, I think it's this door first, and then this door. And as you can see, there's actually a lot of really nice detail in there. And you're just going to sit your little headmaster down in, and then you close this one first, and then you close that one, and there he is. So yeah, definitely pretty cool. I'm digging the alligator mode. For size comparison... Here we have Positum next to the Skull Cruncher from Toy World, uh, their version of the Headmaster. And as you can see, there is 
a significant size difference between these guys. This guy is more of a Voyager sized figure where this guy is more of a, um, I, I wouldn't say Voyager, maybe more of an ultra size, maybe today's um, leader class figure. And yeah, I mean, there's some very, very different um, approaches on the way these two look. And to be honest, for Skull Cruncher, I think this one works a lot better. Um, the deco on this one really, I think, um, leans more towards the uh, City of Steel Alligatorcon than it does Skull Cruncher. And again, I think that was the goal to begin with because all of these truck looking parts up here are totally Optimus and absolutely has nothing to do with the G1 Skull Cruncher. And here he is with a Robots in Disguise 2015 Gold Armor Grimlock. So this is a modern deluxe figure. This guy is a lot bigger than this little dude here, which is, um, you know, kind of sad, the state of the figure sizes today, but definitely different. And this has so much more detail uh, to it. I really like it. I think uh, Fans Project did a good job with this figure. It just seems a little bit small to be a nasty big crocodile to me. So Positum does have an unofficial third mode. I saw this on the internet and I had to uh, kind of play with it. Uh, he has a Cybertronian hover truck mode, uh, which is kind of funny. So I guess he'd be like, uh, which is, of course, he's got his uh, cab piece up front. And then you just kind of wrap the arms around. He's even got uh, kind of the little stacks there which is kind of cool and his arms fold up and just kind of fold down into the uh, figure itself so just kind of a close-up kind of interesting kind of goofy and fun obviously this is uh not by any means an official mode uh it kind of reminds me of the transformers animated cybertronian uh vehicle mode which is pretty amusing and for comparison, here he is sitting next to the Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Bumblebee. And yeah, this just looks kind of silly next to an Earth vehicle. So is Positum a figure that you want in your Transformers collection? If you are a fan of the Fans Project Headmaster figures, you're definitely going to like this figure. If you like weird, obscure uh, figures that go to uh, episodes, you're going to like this. I mean, that's why I got it. I like the fact that... It was the little alligator con from the old uh, G1 cartoon, so that just sunk it in for me. Uh, if if you like Headmasters, this is pretty good. He's not that cheap. He was ninety dollars. It is a TF Con exclusive. If this pops up again, I don't know where. It may pop up in another uh, convention somewhere. I don't know. Uh, but at this point, the only place you could have got him was at the TF Con, which, again, many thanks to uh, Pick for Life. Uh, very, very cool of you to do that, sir. I really appreciate it. Check his channel out uh, down in the links below. But, uh, yeah, if you can't find this guy and you like the mold, you like the crocodile, you want a skull cruncher, you can get uh, the Crocs version, which is painted up like the skull cruncher, at Big Bad Toy Store and TF Source at the time of this recording. They still got them. And, I think they're probably about the same price, 80 or $90, uh, which for a fan's project figure is not too terribly bad. I do like it. The plastic on it is uh, excellent quality, like all the fan's project figures. Transformation is relatively uh, simple, and, uh, you know, it's, it's well detailed. Uh, we do get a reuse of a different head, but that's okay. I don't mind it. It works. So there he is, Positum from Fan's Project. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And as always, look for more videos in the future.